Chidema stays South African, we shall be going back to South Africa. Back. Chidema has made it clear to us that she has no intention of going back to South Africa for now. She only visited Nigeria when she was a kid, when she was about three years. And I just love how welcoming they are. It, it, from the moment I stepped into Nigeria, I, I felt the love, the support, the warmth, the energy is high. It's skyrocket high. I would like to spend as much time as I can hello you welcome to my channel if you are new here my name is just cheesy in this video is chidima's first ever interview with Tocho and how she's coping in nigeria is chidima still south african we shall be going back to south africa in this video we will be finding out all that we need to know about her so far chidima has made it clear to us that she has no intention of going back to south africa for now that she wants to remain in nigeria to know more about her fatherland and her culture she only only visited Nigeria when she was a kid, when she was about three years, and that is about 20 something years ago. So she intends to spend more time in Nigeria to know more about her fatherland, fatherland to know more about her roots. And that's a brilliant one. Trust me, I must commend her on this particular move. Chidima expressed her excitement and how she feels coming back home. As a Wagwan, it's a girl, Big T. And on today's episode, I have somebody really, really super duper special. And her name is Chidima Adeshina, or you can simply call her simply Chichi. <laughs> <laughs> so hi, Chichi, how are you doing? I am excited. I am feeling good where I am so good right now i feel good to be home and i i, I don't have words i'm just i think i'm too excited right yeah. so in like a wrap though how many hours have you spent in nigeria so far it's not even up to 24 hours i think oh i don't think it's up to 24 hours yet and you're already feeling the vibe yes it's amazing it's 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 busy but it's amazing is this your first time in lagos no oh yes so this is like your third time. My second time. Oh, yes. okay. Nice. I came to Nigeria when I was three. So this is my second time after 20 years. Oh, so it's as, it's as much as, or it's as good as your first time. Yeah. Like, yes, 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 friends, yes. all of that kind of stuff. So, I mean, so far, so good, Sha. If you have to list like three things you love about Nigeria already, what would it be? The culture, the food. I've been eating different food since I got here. Mm. And I just love how welcoming they are. It, it, from the moment I stepped into Nigeria, I, I felt the love, the support, the warmth, the energy is high. It's skyrocket high. Right. Yeah. So what's like your favorite food so far? Igusi. <laughs> and uh, jollof rice with plantain and chicken. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I was looking at you going for um, jollof rice, actually, though, because that's like most people's favorite. Yes. I have. You had Ghana jollof, though. No. Oh, so I can't even ask you Ghana or Nigeria, mm -mm. which is a favorite. Right? <laughs> oh, okay. Amazing. How long do you think you're here for, like in Lagos, Nigeria? I would like to spend as much time as I can just to discover, you know, more about my father's land and who I am. So I'm going to be here for a while. Yes. So I know South Africans are always jamming to Nigerian music and stuff. Are you into Afrobeat? I'm an Afrobeat hun. Like if you go through my playlist, you'll just see Afrobeat. Oh, so the video boy. <laughs> I mean, like whose music do you spend much time listening to? All of them. Well, as long as it's Afrobeat, like I've got a whole list that I listen to. So who is your favorite so far? Like, who do you think you're jamming to more? Who has a song out there? I know me, I've been jamming to more of Brema's new music. Do you know Brema? What one do you like? Do you like Calm Down? Like, I the like his it? new song, actually. What one? Macham. <laughs> oh, yeah, like, he, 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 I'm not going to take it easy on my haters. Yeah, that's my favorite song as well. Um, Davido Ogechi, because of the Ochi Chi, Ochi Chi part, because of my name. Right. And um, Burner Boy as well. Hiya, Whiskey, Essence. I can oh. I can go on and on. And and on. on. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's leak. Oh my god. Okay, amazing, amazing. So what's like a favorite song right now, like Afrobeat related? Is it the hey 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 hey? That one for now, but I'm not gonna lie, it has to be Ogechi. 
with oh, the video oh, and the, the remix. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. Yo, it, it, that's number one. So when it comes to pageantry, right, how long have you been in pageantry for? It's actually my first year. I did pageantry before, but it was like a very local and I, I didn't further in it because of my injury. So I would say this is actually my first time, you know, oh, doing pageantry. Perfect. So, I mean, well, you know, some people get into a field um, and they've spent a longer time in that field. And the people that just get into the field, they don't spend as much time as other people have spent, but they're able to acquire a lot when it comes to knowledge beneath it. So I mean, for anybody out there looking at going to pageantry that feel like they're cute, they're slim, they're tall, what's like that five key to action advice you give to any female out there looking up to Chidima Adishina? Firstly, I would like to say pageantry world is actually becoming more inclusive. I don't think that you just need to be skinny. You welcome back home, Chidima. Trust me, this is the best thing that will ever happen in your life. This is the best thing that will ever happen to Nigeria you. Nigeria is the land of opportunity, milk, and honey. And Nigerians are so good in supporting one another. Trust me, the best decision you've ever made for yourself is to come back to Nigeria because there's a lot of golden opportunities in Nigeria. Yes, I'm telling you the fact because where Nigerians are going to place you, by this time next year, you will never imagine it. You will never believe it. Trust me, you will not only be the Miss Universe Nigeria. By this time next year, Chidima is going to be a world star. When I mean world star. Because already people like Bonaboy and others are already rooting for Chidima. They have even started rooting for her before she even came back to Nigeria. I know a lot of foreign celebrities whose careers are dead and forgotten. They come to Nigeria and their careers will be revived. Their dead careers will be revived. So Nigerians are going to do it again. South Africans, you just sit back and watch what is about to unfold. Nigeria makes stars for the world to see and celebrate. So you South Africans, you sit back and watch what Chidima is about to become in the next few months. Yes, you will join others. You will join the world to celebrate Chidima and equally call her your own. But trust me, she will no longer be your own because since South Africa has cancelled her ID, meaning that she's no longer a South African, and before she will step into South Africa, she will have to obtain visa, right? So automatically, you've disowned her. But not to worry, she is a full Nigerian. Yes, she is a Nigerian. Don't worry, you will be watching her from afar and you will see what she, she, she's about to become. You will see what she will become. South Africa canceled Chidima's ID for what reason exactly? Like, I need to know. I need someone to explain to me what is going on. You claim Chidima's mom stole an ID? You claim Chidima's Mozambican mom stole an ID? Please, let me ask you, South Africans, is Chidima's ID also stolen? Did she steal her own ID? So why will you guys cancel her ID? Simply because she left South Africa to Nigeria. You guys now use the opportunity to cancel her ID. If this is not a jealousy, I wonder what it is. You canceled her ID so that she won't have access to South Africa anymore. So she won't come back to South Africa anymore. If this is not jealousy, I wonder what it is. I wonder what this girl has done to you guys to deserve all this. I do not understand what crime she has committed to deserve all that you guys are doing to her but nevertheless she's back to nigeria and she's back for good one day you south africans will have to obtain a ticket you have to get a ticket to see chidima yes before you will be able to see her one-on-one -on -one, it will be a very very big task before you'll be able to see chidima even south african government will have to pay heavily to invite Chidima to South Africa. So guys, I will be stopping here for now. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up. Share and drop your comments. I love you. And to all South Africans, this is me saying, Ngiya Kutanda.